One criticism of Canada's education system is that it doesn't do enough to foster entrepreneurial spark. That's where Venture for Canada comes in. The program recruits students who are about to graduate from universities across the country and puts them through a kind of leadership boot camp. When they've completed the one month training, they're placed in a startup where they have the chance to get some real life work experience. Scott Stewart is the executive director and founder of Venture for Canada. Sophie Yu took part in the Venture for Canada program in 2015. She now works at a tech company called NIMI. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thanks. So Scott, tell how you got the idea to start this up. Yeah, definitely. Um, while uh, attending university in the United States, um, I saw a great organization called Venture for America um, that's doing fantastic work and places hundreds of recent grads each year to work at startups throughout the, uh, the United States. Um, and I always had the entrepreneurial itch, but right out of school, I want to go work at Goldman Sachs. Um, and I sort of saw firsthand that there's often a disconnect between startups and recent grads. Um, so Venture for Canada aims to address uh, this disconnect and really solve a problem that I saw firsthand with the goal of giving youth uh, more entrepreneurial skills and fostering a new generation of Canadian leaders. Cool. So now, Sophie, how did you get involved with it? Well, you see, when I was in school, I had the great privilege to take part in an awesome co-op program at the University of Waterloo. Um, and as part of my co-op experience, I was able to experience both um, small startup companies as well as large companies such as Apple. Now, at the end of my, uh, my time at school, they had actually offered me a position at Apple, um, which was an incredible honor. Yeah. Um, however, I, I came to realize that what I really wanted was to build something really great here at home. And so I really wanted to look for an opportunity to work at a startup here in Canada. Hmm. And so obviously you were out recruiting. How did you find Sophie then, Scott? I actually found them. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, Venture for Canada had a posting uh, at the University of Waterloo job boards. Um, and I thought this is a perfect organization. Um, this could connect me to a lot of, uh, you know, communities and startup ecosystems that I'm looking for. And it just seemed like a great fit. Hmm. So we're describing it as a leadership boot camp. Of course, you think mm -hmm. of boot camp, people are, you know, running, jumping, <laughs> exercising. Are they exercising their leadership traits or how does, what are they actually doing at the camp, Scott? Yeah, definitely. Uh, some of it, there is a, a certain, a little bit of a physical element. We do start the camp at the beginning with like a, a scavenger hunt across the uh, kind of campus. Um, but yeah, the subject covers a really wide range. So everything from a lot of what is traditionally referred to as soft skill training. Um, and everything from emotional intelligence to public speaking to certain hard skills like coding, uh, financial management. So it's a really wide range of different trainings the fellows get access to. Mm -hmm. So you're not an entrepreneur now though, Sophie. No, I'm currently working at a startup called NIMI based here in Toronto. Um, and the experience has given me such amazing opportunities to grow my technical and non-technical skills. Um, working as part of a startup means that you have to wear many hats and that you have to fill many different roles. Um, and, and so because there are so many opportunities, it's a great way to learn a lot of things really, really fast. Mm -hmm. What does NIMI do? So NIMI is a hardware startup based in Toronto. We make a smart wearable wristband that uses a biometric to um, authenticate your identity. So essentially you can use our device to replace passwords or key fobs or pins. Because it tracks your heartbeat. Absolutely. Huh. And so I would be able to access my uh, personal accounts or um, financial information, but someone else would not be able to take my identity and pretend to be me. So what do you feel you got out of the, the course, the boot camp? The Venture for Canada training camp? Yes. Um, I think the most important thing and the most rewarding thing has been the network and the supportive um, group of peers that I've met as a result of being part of Venture for Canada. Um, not only are we um, new graduates uh, starting out on our, new, on our careers, uh, we're also very good friends. Um, as a result of boot camp, there's been a lot of downtime to get to know people very well. Um, we'll have TV marathons, we'll go camping, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll do things outside of just work-related or Venture for Canada-related activities. Mm -hmm. So Scott, tell us about uh, sort of more the structure of the program. How many students do you take in at a time and, and what kind of results are you seeing? Yeah, definitely. So last year we selected around 60 uh, youth to participate in the program. We received around 2,300 applications. Um, uh, fellows are recruited from across the country um, uh, and they're selected through a three-step process that involves a written application, uh, phone interview, and then an in-person selection day. Once selected, they go through the month-long training camp uh, and then they spend two years working for a growing uh, startup and we provide ongoing training and support and events uh, for those fellows over that two-year uh, period. 
And what we've already seen is uh, from feedback from the employers, of the 2016 fellows, 100% were uh, indicated as, uh, the fellows were indicated as meeting or exceeding uh, expectations. So a lot of the fellows are performing uh, fantastic. Uh, and we've already had, we had some companies that have actually uh, hired six plus fellows. So that's probably the greatest indicator of success is basically returning uh, kind of clients. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. But I mean, do you think it is possible to teach someone to be an entrepreneur? You know, like I, I work on Dragon's Den mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. you know, I've often heard the dragons say, you know, you're, it's, you, it's, you're born that way. It's like a certain personality and mm -hmm. it's not teachable. Do you agree? I think it's teachable to some extent. I think it's probably a mixture of uh, nature and nurture. I do think that the, the opportunity of working in a startup is one of the best ways to learn entrepreneurial skills, to work with a successful entrepreneur. And what Venture for Camps program gives is it provides youth the uh, skills, the network, and the experience uh, to eventually uh, launch their own firms or just lead entrepreneurial careers in general. Mm -hmm. And what did you find with your experience at, at school, Sophie? I mean, was there anything in your program? What, what program were you taking? I studied mechanical engineering oh, at the University okay. of Waterloo. Right. Um, so the focus was very technically focused. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of you know very difficult math and science topics, um, but very little entrepreneurial topics. Mm -hmm. um, so Venture for Canada definitely kind of fills that gap in terms of training and getting students thinking about that path as a career. Right. So why do you think this is so important that we have to have this type of an add-on? Because, I mean, you know, you're not part of the education system per mm -hmm. se. Yeah, definitely. So I think it's one of those things where uh, the education uh, system provides a ton of hard skills. But I think what Venture for Canada does is address the kind of soft skills and entrepreneurial leadership skills that are so important in a changing economy. We're living in a world where lots of jobs won't exist uh, 20 years from now that you know millions of people uh, have uh, today. So we need a workforce that is nimble, that's entrepreneurial, and Venture for Canada helps uh, create and foster those skills that are essential in a changing economy. And does it go year-round? Uh, yeah, so we will, we, the, the fellowship is kind of going, uh, goes year round, uh, but our applications actually launch on September 6th. That's why uh, you're here today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, if you are interested in applying to be a Venture for Canada fellow, you can check out our website, ventureforcanada.ca. And on September 6th, the applications uh, will open. Excellent. Okay, well, thank you so much. Nice to meet you both. Thank you. Good awesome. luck. Thank you. Scott Stewart is the executive director and founder of Venture for Canada. Sophie Yu is a Venture for Canada fellow.